Why are you yapping? All you ever do is complain. You never try to make things better. Port begging. It's a time-honored tradition that seems to hang around the water cooler of Nintendo. So recently today or yesterday or whenever the hell you decide to come across this video, at some point in time, recently for me, uh, the Atlas communication manager decided to, to put something out. It's like, hey, we're not going to know anything unless you tell us about it. Uh, if you want Persona 5 on Switch, then you should uh, let it be known. And to me, this is yet another one of those issues where, hey, guys, Poor Big. Poor Big can give us free publicity. Now, Persona 5 Scramble's already coming to the Switch, so I'm already happy about that. Definitely would love Persona 5 to come, but I'm not gonna lose any sleep over this not coming. It makes no sense to sit up there and have to do this. Port begging honestly gets you nothing. It's never gotten you anything. It's never helped in any way, shape, or form on all the previous games and any future games coming. You're not gonna get squat off of it. Now, let me be clear. There are rare times where an indie game or a Kickstarter is made for something like Wonderful 101 and how that worked out to where people were asking for 101, including me to be on the Switch, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pour big for it. There was even a picture before that with you signifying like with the Wonderful 101 crew, at least a couple of them playing the Nintendo Switch. So there was inclinations that, hey, this was probably going to happen at some point. But you've had that whole, like, for instance, the near Automata developer situation saying, hey, guys, if you want that on the Switch, maybe consider just keep asking us on Twitter. Ha -ha. Like just playing you for fools. And then Atlas is like, man, I, I really like this playbook. I, I think we'll do it, too. Ask us on Twitter, guys, and tell us. Now, nothing against that communications coordinator. Now, keep in mind, communications coordinator. Granted, it seems like a really nice person, so I'm not going to hold that against the person. But still, it just I, I'm I'm not a fan of this whole port bang thing in any way, shape or form. Remember when Bandai said, hey, guys, ask for Fighter Z on the switch. And, you know, and it was already planned. But hey, guys, he, he, you wanted it. You got it. And then they're going to act. Then they just turn around and act like, hey, guys, you asked for it. So we delivered. We <laughs> you all you had to do was ask to give us your money. And it just, ah, it's so skeevy. I, I, I can't stand it. I really can't, because think about it. Developers aren't as dumb as you think, or at least as they want to play themselves out as. Executives aren't that dumb. They don't just sit around all day shooting pool and rubbing one out to the coronavirus chan, wanting you to beg for a, a port. Like, they just, they don't. They have a business to run. Do you think that Atlas would be so dumb that they wouldn't, they wouldn't know that Persona would sell green on the Switch? It's the Switch. Persona's demographic is a match made in heaven for the Switch. And it just, it doesn't mean anything. If you really want a poor beg for something, where is the limit? You have to ask yourself, where is the limit for poor begging? Like it's all it's all free promotion, like nothing against the, the person. I can't stress that enough, but it is what it is. But where is the limit? Is it a thousand likes? Is it a million likes? Is it a, a, a hundred thousand retweets? Where is the limit for them to be like, OK, you guys can give us your money now. Like, where is the limit for that? Like, it's just I don't know. It's just it's despicable to me for any company to do that. Even if Nintendo did that, as much as I love Nintendo, I absolutely am not going to stand for that nonsense to each their own, but as it's really not my cup of tea, but I'd rather you say, put this on the switch. Don't ask, don't, don't ask people to allow them to give you your, give you their money. Well, why is it that Nintendo fans always have to port big? And, and not only that, but they have to ask and plead and retweet. It's fucking annoying. So when people say, let's band together, you know, brothers in arms and ask for a port. I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm absolutely not going to do that. I, and why is it the hottest selling console, the daddy of gaming so far down on the totem pole? Can anybody explain that to me? Like, seriously, like, uh -huh, I guess you got to ask for it. Like just, no, no, absolutely not. I got better things to do than the big Atlas to allow them to take my money. You should respect yourselves enough to do the same. I know Persona's great. I know it's amazing. I No question, there's no slight against Persona or the people that actually make it, but I'm talking about the executives, the people that make the decision to say, hey, we're gonna put this on, on the Xbox. We're gonna put this on the PlayStation. We're gonna put this on the TI calculator. That's the people that I have the problem with. Again, I remember Fighter Z when they were announcing like, you guys that you guys asked for it and we delivered like all right seriously it's 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 pissing me off 
It's pissing me off to where I can't make words anymore, so I'm just gonna skip that. Bandai and many other Japanese developers said it themselves in an investor briefings for a lot of them, if you actually look at them, saying, boy, we sure wish we knew that the Switch was going to do so well in the beginning, we would have done a lot more for it. So that's a sign in and of itself. Again, this is a company. They, they have to pay like <laughs> they have to pay their employees. They have to pay insurance. They have to make money. They have to generate revenue. They have to meet quotas. They have to do industry things. It's not no. Well, I'm just, you know, I'll, I'll make you know, wish granted. It, it doesn't it doesn't work like that. So this poor big nonsense, you, you can just fuck right off with that to the North Pole where the ice caps are melting. I, I'm good on that nonsense. It's just really appalling how companies play people. And, and I know OMG, a company being shady, who would have thunk? But Atlas, they make some great games, but why are they so ass backwards <laughs> to when it comes to people that have been asking for Persona to be on Switch since Joker came to Smash? I mean, that's well over a year now at this point. I know how some companies do it, you literally have a stack of money and and low effort in front of you. It's a business's wet dream. How do com some companies just miss the switch with that? It, like, like I'm sure EA and po the Pokemon company got big wet stains in their trousers at the thought of making gobs of money for low effort behind it. But you know, whatever. Ye I mean, whether it be Yeezy, Crash Bandicoot, and the whole situation, the only reason that's on the switch is because of one developer putting it on there. Whether it be Borderlands, Fallout, Overwatch, Nier, poor begging doesn't work if they aren't planning to bring it over to begin with. And asking you to port beg is really just a juicy free publicity on top of everything like a sweet cherry of holding your favorite IP hostage. It's a business, people. It's business. It's them working on making money. They don't give a take your heart about anything that you want. Port begging does nothing for you and does everything for the developer. It really pisses me off and I know I've said this about several thousand times, but I really have to drive this port home, guys. When you do this and people take to online and beg and beg, like Oliver style, please, sir, I want some more shit in my coffee. People, you can decide what you want to do. I'm going to put it this way. This will be my final thoughts. You can beg and, you know, get on your hands and knees. Baby, come back. Any kind of fool could see. But I'm not doing it. I'm not going to be treated as a second class beggar and be disrespected like that. I mean, you can if you want to, but I really think you guys are worth more than being told to beg for something. It's just, it's not cool with me. And, and once again, nothing against the communications manager. I'm not putting all the heat on her. I'm pretty sure, like I said, it seems like an upright person, but it really feels like yet again, another port begging situation to where you have to beg to pay someone. And that's some bullshit. Thank you for listening to Complain.com. I appreciate your patronage. Like, comment, subscribe. Dislike if you think I'm constipated. Patreon because I'm broke and I want to make great stuff. Thunderverse so I can sell you something that looks sexy as fuck on you. And uh, that's pretty much it. Later, folks. Know your value. Know your worth. Don't let people cheat you. Even if you love the product. I can't stress it enough. Value yourself. And your time. Sit, boo-boo, sit. Good dog.